here and this is a robot that I'm working on and I haven't named it yet actually but I don't know if you can tell from here but it's really big and uh, it's about a foot high and three feet long and basically it's an all-terrain robot so it has tank treads and it was really hard to build it's it's very structural and very powerful but it's slow and I can actually stand on it while it's running but I can't show you it now because um, I don't want to bend any more metal than I did before and I weigh a hundred pounds just so you know and this using just four VEX motors can power can whoops, carry me so it's pretty cool and uh, you might want to skip over because I'm going to show you some of the specs. Well, you might want to skip over if you don't care or you just don't know. Alright, so this is the ultrasonic rangefinder. This will emit pulses and then time how long it takes to uh, pulse back so we can tell if there is anything in front of it. This is an accelerometer, actually a three axis accelerometer. And this allows the robot to tell if it's moving forwards, backwards, up or down, and it can tell if it's tilted in any direction. These two uh, modules here are quadrature, quadrature shaft encoders, and these are connected directly to the drivetrain, and they can tell how far the robot has moved. Of course, these are the motors right here. Here's the microcontroller itself, the brain unit. And down here, we have two uh, bumper sensors, sort of in this little panel, if you can see that. And if we go up close again, you can see if it's pushed, then it will push both sensors no matter where the push is so it works really well and um, again let me tell you it's not that fast and I'm still working on it and I might have to fix some bugs so here we go all right I checked all my wiring and everything before we start so now I'm just gonna flip it on and there it goes right now it's running an autonomous program and if it senses an obstacle, then it will turn away. It should sense most obstacles with the um, ultrasonic rangefinder and the two bumpers. Let's see if it senses. Yes, it does. You can carry the whole thing. It's around 10 pounds, and this drivetrain is uh, strong enough to carry the robot and some uh, extra stuff. I put a few bricks on it before, but I don't want to uh, strip any gears or anything. It can sense a lot of the surroundings, and I'm still working on giving it more sensors and more functionality. Alright, this didn't want it to crash. Now it looks like it's going to go over a rock. And it's gotten over the rock over there. And now it's trying to plow its way over everything. And it's successful. And now it's trying to turn around on top of the rock. Now it's going for my dog. Oops, something got caught right there, but give it a little nudge. 
and I gotta move the chair. Poor dog is wondering what's going on. Alright. So, it's not perfect, but well, it's really cool. So, I worked really hard on it. The structure, uh, the way it drives, the way it moves, everything. And it, right now, it's working pretty well. Let's see if it senses the wall. And it does. Oh, I'm pointing at the wrong place. Sorry. Winston likes to take a ride on it. And it can fully support him while driving with him on it. So it's pretty strong. You've seen a dog riding a robot. What about a water can? This is completely filled with water. And this robot shall attempt to carry it. And it works fine. Awesome. Works absolutely flawlessly with water. In fact, it can carry almost anything. Larger robots like this one could be used in the future to carry heavy materials. Three bricks. Winston! Hi! Hi, Winston! Comment and subscribe for more great videos. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash futureinvent. Check out our Facebook page. It's called the Future Invention Subscriber Page. All links will be below in the description. Thanks for watching. Peace.